What's going on, everybody? Today, we're gonna dive into a topic that's crucial for understanding the financial health of cannabis companies, and that is adjusted EBITDA. As the cannabis industry continues to grow and evolve, many companies report their earnings using this metric. But what exactly is adjusted EBITDA? And why is it so important for cannabis companies? Well, let's break it down. First, let's clarify what adjusted EBITDA stands for. EBITDA is an acronym that stands for Earnings Before Interest, Taxes, Depreciation, and Amortization. It's a measure of a company's overall financial performance and is often used as a proxy for cash flow. When we talk about adjusted EBITDA, we refer to modifications made to the standard EBITDA calculation to exclude one-time expenses, non-recurring costs, or other factors that may distort the true operating performance of a business. This adjustment provides a clear picture of a company's ongoing profitability and operational efficiency. Now, let's discuss why cannabis companies in particular rely on adjusted EBITDA. The cannabis industry, as you know, is unique and faces several challenges to make traditional financial metrics less informative. Here are a few key reasons. One, high initial costs. Many cannabis companies incur significant startup costs related to licensing compliance and facility construction. These expenses can skew traditional earnings figures. By using adjusted EBITDA, companies can provide a clear view of their operational performance by excluding these one-time costs. Two, regulatory environment. The cannabis industry operates in a highly regulated environment, which can lead to unexpected expenses. Companies may face legal fees, compliance costs, and other regulatory challenges that can impact their bottom line. Adjusted Adjusted EBITDA allows them to present a more stable financial picture, one that reflects their core business operations without these fluctuations. Three, rapid growth and expansion. Many cannabis companies are in a growth phase, investing heavily in new markets and product lines. These often result in increased expenses such as marketing and research and development costs. Reporting adjusted EBITDA helps them highlight profitability of their core operations despite the heavy investments being made for future growth growth. And four, investor expectations. Investors are increasingly looking for metrics that can provide insight into a company's ongoing performance. Adjusted EBITDA has become a favored metric in the cannabis space because it allows for easier comparisons between companies, regardless of their size or stage in the growth cycle. By focusing on adjusted EBITDA, investors can better assess a company's operational efficiency and potential for profitability. Now that we understand why adjusted EBITDA is important, let's briefly go over how it's calculated. The basic formula is this. Adjusted EBITDA equals net income plus interest plus taxes plus depreciation, amortization, and adjustments for non-recurring expenses. Companies will often disclose what specific adjustments they're making in their financial reports, allowing investors to understand the rationale behind their figures. So let's consider some examples from the cannabis industry. When a company reports adjusted EBITDA, they may exclude costs related to one-time legal fees associated with securing licenses or resolving regulatory issues, startup costs incurred when entering into a new market, or non-recurring inventory write-downs as the company adjusts its product offerings. By doing so, they present a more consistent measure of their ongoing operational performance, which can be especially helpful for investors evaluating their financial health and growth prospects. In conclusion, adjusted EBITDA is a critical metric for cannabis companies companies navigating in complex and rapidly evolving industry. It provides a clear picture of their operational performance by excluding one-time expenses, regulatory challenges. For investors, understanding adjusted EBITDA allows for better comparisons and assessments of a company's financial health, especially in an industry categorized by rapid growth and significant investment. As the cannabis market continues to mature, the importance of transparent and informative financial reporting will only grow. This is why adjusted EBITDA serves as a valuable tool for both companies and investors alike in the landscape. So what'd you all think? Is this helpful? Did you find this informative? Leave some comments below and let us know what you think. And if you have any questions, we'd love to hear from you. Reach out to us and don't forget to ring that bell for all notifications to learn more about educational pieces like this. And if you haven't done so already, make sure to smash that like button and subscribe to our channel because we wouldn't be here without you. Thanks for watching, everyone.